Barbados, tropical island paradise with a metropolitan hometown feel. The small island of Barbados strikes a balance between secluded tropical paradise and metropolitan urban center. About the size of San Antonio, Texas, or half the size of New York City, the independent nation, a member of the British Commonwealth, enjoys year-round temperatures ranging from 21-31 Celsius. It has regular gentle refreshing breezes, and over 3,000 hours of sunshine a year. Secluded as it is, Barbados is one of the world's most densely populated isles, making it like a little city. Situated in the southernmost part of the Caribbean islands, near Venezuela, Barbados belongs to a group of islands called the Lesser Antilles, which includes St. Kitt, Antigua, Grenada, St. Lucia, Martinique, and Guadeloupe. The Caribbean islands are completed by the Greater Antilles northwards towards Florida and the Gulf of Mexico, which include Cuba, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Grand Lee Adams International Airport is located in the southeast of Barbados near Bridgetown and is the Caribbean's leading airport, serving as a hub for the region. The official language of Barbados is English, but regular visitors won't be able to help themselves from picking up the local dialect called the Bajan, an English-based Creole language, which can be a lot of fun to speak and to hear others speaking. British influence is also evident with driving being on the left, and an important Celtic festival being held annually. Government investment in environmental conservation in Barbados is among the highest in the world. Truly pristine natural beauty is available to be admired without being harmed in this really special corner of paradise. Barbados is a relatively flat island. Getting around here is a pleasure for motorists and cyclists alike. A vast network of winding roads can make traveling short distances last a long time if you like to get lost and choose to take the long way through the luscious green countryside. Rental cars are easily available, as are bicycles and hired taxis called ZRS. Helicopters also serve select locations on the island. Buses run regularly and serve most locations. The island of Barbados is surrounded by coral reefs, and boasts two different, absolutely beautiful coasts. On the eastern coast, the crashing roar of the huge waves of the Atlantic on the white sand beaches awakens the senses to a full dose of natural beauty. Although the ocean here is not suitable for swimming, there are some natural pools where adventurers can have a dip. On the other side of the island, Carlisle Bay Beach has calmer waters, and usually quite a few more people, which is great for socializing. Situated in a natural crescent-shaped harbor on the western coast of the island, swimming is excellent here year-round, and it is even possible to venture out to swim with turtles, tropical fish, rays, and sea horses. There are amazing shipwrecks for snorkelers to explore as well as submarine dives, including nocturnal dives. Other beautiful beaches to discover on the gentle west coast include Dover Beach, Rockling Beach, and Accra Beach, one of the best with 3 kilometers of boardwalk lining the tree-shaded route from Rockley to Hastings. There is much more to do in Barbados than go to the beach, however, the inland of the island is lush, tropical and a totally non-stressful yet stimulating environment to be in. Many gardens and wildlife areas can be visited by the public, such as the Flower Forest, Hunts Garden, Andromeda Garden and the Wildlife Preserve. Away from the sea, parrots, armadillos, flamingos, and monkeys live in forests of mahogany trees. The National Trust's exploration hike is one of the best ways to get in touch with nature in Barbados.
There is also a significant natural cave on the island, known as Harrison's Cave, which is not only of interest to spelunkers, but to anyone who wants to set their eyes on the pristine waterfalls and crystal clear blue pools nestled among the stalagmites and stalactites. One of the most vibrant times of year is the crop over carnival, beginning with pre-events at the end of the rainy season, and coming into full swing in July and August. Events are held around the island, including celebrations of Calypso and Soca music, and the crowing of the sugar crop queen and king. Get to know your way around the small island, and make this cozy place your second home.